Hi guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how you can set up a tab bar controller application to have a navigation controller within it. So if you look at the simulator on screen, this is essentially what we're looking to build. We've got a tab bar application with three tabs, and this is pretty standard stuff. You see a first view here and a second view. And then if we looked at that first tab bar item, you notice that it's actually a table view, and I can tap one of these rows and see a detailed view on it. And I can go back using this navigation controller up top. Uh, this is a pretty standard set up with a lot of applications uh, that you can download from the App Store and it's actually very easy to set up something basic like this so that's what we're going to cover in this particular tutorial what this tutorial won't actually cover is how you can set up a table view application there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube excellent ones um, and lots of resources on the web so the expectation here is although I will show you the code I probably won't slow down nearly as much as I should uh, for the table view application part so the expectation like I said is that you know how to handle that piece so let's quit the simulator here and get started one of the first things we want to do is actually create a new project so you just go file new project I already have my window open and then we're going to select a template for our new project um, we want to select the tab bar application and then hit next it's gonna ask us for a product name so let's just call this tab bar application um, for lack of a better name and then hit next and it's going to of course ask me where I'd like to create it I'm going to create it on my desktop and that should be good and now we have our application in place now Apple actually provides a lot of code when you choose that tab bar template and to see that let's actually just hit run and run this in the simulator and you'll see that what we actually get in the simulator right off right out of the box is a nice tab bar application with two tabs And so here's our first view, our application with two tabs, first view, second view, and it just loads different view controllers. So what we want to be able to do, of course, is add a third view to this that uses a navigation controller. So let's get started doing just that. First step would be to go to our main window.nip file. And you'll notice there that we've got sort of our placeholders, our objects here. Uh, we want to first enable our... Um, utilities panel so let's click this icon up top in Xcode 4 and this shows the utilities panel now I want to expand the tab bar controller and if I do that you'll notice that there's a um, uh, two view controllers in here um, and then there's the tab bar as well um, so what we want to do is add the navigation controller to this setup and it's very easy to do we just type in navigation controller here in the library find one and I'm going to drag this onto the tab bar controller and so that sets up the tab bar controller here and you'll notice that the navigation controller I'm sorry gets added to the bottom if you wanted to rearrange that you could very easily do that by just sort of moving this up or down and you'll notice that it's now switched to the first one so that's our first step in terms of adding the navigation controller within this and if we wanted to we could expand it and see some of the other items that are in here so you'll notice there's a navigation bar there's a view controller and then there's a tab bar item so we're gonna come back to this to finish up but our next step would be to actually create a table view um, so let's get started by do to do that and what we want to do is add a new file and it will be a subclass of the UI view controller hit next it confirms that it is a subclass of UI view controller. We'll hit next one more time. And let's just call this table view. And we're going to hit save. And it creates the header files, the implementation file, and the nip file for the table view. So what we do next is we'll have to go back to go to our table view.nip file. And this time we want to put a table view and so we find that within our library and just drag that onto the view itself and here we have a table view so if you've worked with table views before you'll notice that you'll know that you have to add the data source and delegate so you just right click and drag the data source and connect the data source and delegate up to the files owner okay. once we've done that we hit command s to save and we're going to jump back to the header file for the table views so first step here we have to since we promised that we were going to um, have files owner act as 
the table view data source and delegate we have to actually explicitly say that so we say UI table view delegate or data source first and then UI table view delegate very good so again command s to save one other thing we're gonna do here is I'm going to create an NS array object and we'll just call it items for now let's also set up the setters and getters so we'll use that property non-atomic chain and then we'll just select this here set this up and the reason we're doing this is because I want to create since this is a very simple application I'm going to populate the table view using this array and I'm going to essentially set this array to just a set of strings um, and so this is the easiest way to do that so we'll just go ahead and do that since we're using add property we have to remember to also synth use add synthesize to complete that process so add synthesize items and it knows that so we do that hit command s again to save it now within our view did load method let's go ahead and initialize that array with a few uh, strings so let's set up our items array right so first thing we say is items let's allocate some memory for that this array lock and in it with objects is what we want and there we go we have that and we just set this to a bunch of NS string values so let's just say this is item one and we're just gonna do two items here to keep this nice and short I'm sorry three items and it's always terminated by nil so that should get us set up uh, in terms of the array itself now since we are implementing a table view we actually have to and this and files owner is acting as the data source and delegate we have to set up the table view um, method so there are if you're using a table view you'll probably already know this but you have certain uh, data source and delegate methods that you have to implement within your application for this to work correctly and that is what we're going to do next and if you haven't done this already I highly recommend that you take a look at the organizer window and you can actually get to this by just going to your header file and if you hover over this data source and delegate method and hit the option um, the alt or option key you'll notice that this turns into sort of a clickable uh, link and you can actually click on that it'll pull up the organizer and then you can take a look at all the documentation that's available as part of that so in any case because this is not a tutorial on what um, needs to go in as part of a table view and we're really focused on implementing the navigation controller as part of the tab bar controller I actually have some code saved here in another document that I'm going to paste in I will tell you what it is but we won't go into too much detail so I'm going to copy and paste it and so these are some of the required methods so you'll say there's one called number of rows in section and what we're going to do here is of course return the number of rows that are in a particular section uh, this is a required uh, method so you have to implement it and if you look at the documentation like I said it's very clearly outlined Apple does a good job of doing that and what we're doing here is of course just returning the number of items a count of the number of the items that are in our items array so here's items and there's really three so that's really what's going to return here the next method that we have to implement is the method that actually draws the cells so to do that we have to implement the method self a row at index path so let me paste in the code that I've got here on my screen and you'll notice that I've kind of broken this down a little bit where we see so the first step we're going to undertake here is we check to see if we can reuse a, a cell from a row that has just rolled off the screen and all this really means is in our case in this particular example it's pretty simple we only have three items but if you had many many items in your uh, section in that table you don't want to have to allocate memory all at once to be able to draw those cells so what we're doing here is every time a cell rolls off a row rolls off the screen that is you can't see it on your device um, Xcode is, or Objective-C is smart enough to know that it can reuse that particular cell so that's what we're checking for here uh, and if a cell doesn't exist it just creates a new one we're also going to add a detailed view accessory and that's just the little arrows that appear to the right um, off the road to notify the user that if you tap it there's going to be additional information and 
we then also want to fill it with some text and we do that using the text label text property and once again we say items which is our NS array that we define up top and we want it to be set to whatever value it's pointing at right now and last but not least we return the sum so this is really all we need to do to draw the table view but what we're interested in doing is also adding in a detail view so I want to be able to tap the row and get more details about that row so to do that we're going to have to create another file another view controller and let's let's go ahead and do that and we're gonna call it let's just go to right click this go to new file and we're gonna create another UI view controller subclass hit next again confirm that it is a subclass of UI view controller and this time let's give it the very creative name of table view details uh, we'll hit save and now that file has been added in we now have to import this into our um, actually I'm sorry we are in the wrong file here let me hit save let me jump back to our table view dot implementation file and it's here that we need to import in the header file for um, the table view details that we just created so let's do that next we're going to go back down and implement one more method relating to table views and that method is did select row and index path and what we're going to do with that method is essentially set it up to where if you tap a particular row it pushes this new view controller onto the screen and shows the details there so let me copy paste in the relevant code for that and you'll see here we're doing a couple of things so first of all we create an instance of our sort of detail view controller and you'll notice that we we call it details we allocate some memory for it we initialize it using our nib file and we then push that view controller onto the stack and we of course animate that so we can see that nice transition and then once we're done we release it we also need to go to the table view details nib file and maybe drag uh, perhaps a text view onto it so that we can actually see that transition occurring so once we do that command s to save we're now done setting up the table view itself so we now have the setup in place to where you could tap a row and it would load this additional view controller onto it but to complete the process we actually have to go back to our main window.nib file and if you remember that navigation controller that we initially added has another view controller within it so what we're going to do is first select that view controller and then we're going to work with two of these inspectors here so we've got one that is the attributes inspector and then there's the identity inspector so let's start with the identity inspector we're going to select of course our view controller then move to the identity inspector for it and we're going to tell it what class to use so remember we want to load in the table view so the class we want to set it to is going to be called table view once we've set that we hit a command s and then we will go to back to that view controller and then switch to the other inspector And here we want to set the nib file and the nib file name here is really the nib file for this table view and in our case of course that's called table view dot xib or nib so let's didn't mean to do that let me go back here again table view we're in this particular inspector which is the um, attributes inspector and we're gonna set the nib file to table view and you don't want to put in the actual dot xib um, extension you just put that in and it knows that it's going to load that we do a command s and now if we run our application a couple seconds to compile here see that build has succeeded you'll notice that we get our three tabs first the item first and second and within the first controller we also get these three rows and if I tap them it loads the next controller tap loads the next detail view so that's how easy it is actually to build something like this now there are a couple other things that I'm going to point out this might be obvious to folks that have already used um, uh, tab bar controllers before but you know you may want to of course rename this to something more fancy you may want to put in an icon it's all very easy to do um, if you wanted to add an icon what you would do is for example let's go back to our 
tab bar controller here I'm gonna select this first item and here I will for example since I know this is a table view I'm going to just call it table view right. now we can also add an image to this but before we do that we have to actually import the image so let me import an image I always like to put them in the supporting files folder um, we can right click it and say add files to tab bar application and on my desktop I have an image file called 28star.png which is just a star icon um, and we're gonna add that in next I'm going to go back and select this one more time this time I get this value in here I can save it I can also do that for the other two 28star.png one more time and again like I said you can set this to whatever you like the icons do have a specific size and um, one other item so we can run this and see that uh, looks a little bit nicer and notice that it's got these three in place and the one other item that you might be interested in doing is of course this by default says root view controller and you might want to change that so it's pretty easy to change as well what we would do in this case is go to our table view implementation file um, and we would go to the view did load method and here we would say something like self self dot navigation item dot text label Let's see here it's equal to um, what do we want to set this to I actually I'm sorry it's self dot navigation item dot title my apologies and we would set this to whatever we wanted it to be so for example we can set it to table view and that's fine just save that and command B to build and this time when we run the application you're going to see that the navigation controllers title has changed to this value that we've just set it so that's how you would set something like this up like I said very easy to do you can do this in probably 10 to 12 minutes flat um, and you can do it using a lot of the code that um, Apple provides as part of its template so I hope this tutorial has been helpful to at least a few folks um, I know I zip through quite a few things but hopefully if you're familiar with table views um, this will help you make that transition to combining tab bar applications with navigation bars um, that have table views in them. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.